Hey everyone and welcome to Shima's guide on how to transfer your Unity project for VR chat to the new 2017 Unity. The first thing you need to do is download Unity Hub. So if you look, you can see just go to Unity's website and download the hub. Now run the exe file for the Unity Hub and save it to your C drive or whatever your preferred drive is to programs. Now once you have the hub installed, you're going to need to download the exact version of Unity that we'll be using for the new VR chat, which is going to be on screen Unity 2017.4.15 F1. On the releases page, you're going to see multiple versions of Unity, very similar to the one that I just said, but just make sure you're getting the exact 0.15 F1 version of Unity or it's not going to work. Now before setting up the new version of Unity, you're going to want to set up the hub to also have your old version of Unity. In order to do that, open up the Unity hub and hit locate a version. Navigate to the .exe file for your old Unity and it should pop into Unity hub. Now once you've done that, you're going to go back and download the new version of Unity, but when it's asking for a file location, it's very important that you name a new folder, specifically Unity 2017. Your old Unity is going to be saved in a folder called Unity. So if you don't change the name of the file location, it's going to overwrite your old version of Unity. You don't want that. So change it to Unity 2017 or any unique name of your choosing in order for it to not overwrite your old Unity. Now, once the install is finished, you're going to have to add it to Unity Hub the same way you added your old version of Unity. In order to do that, do the exact same thing as before, except when you locate the version, you're going to navigate to that new folder that we just installed Unity 2017 to, and you're going to select that exe file instead. And there you go, 2017 Unity should pop into the Unity Hub. And now we can do the fun stuff. You're going to open up your old Unity with whatever package you would like to import into Unity 2017. Once you've got your project open, you're going to go into the project window and you're going to right click on the assets folder. You're going to select export package and when the export package window pops up, it's going to ask you to check items to export. By default, everything will be checked, but you're going to want to collapse all the folders and uncheck the VRC SDK because you're going to want to import that separately later. So once you have everything checked except for the VRC SDK, you're going to hit export. Export it to a location of your choosing under the name of your choosing. And this is also a handy way to back up your entire project in case something goes wrong. You now have this Unity package with all of your assets inside of it. Now, like I said, we're going to have to import the SDK separately. So go to vrchat.net and download the latest version of the SDK there. Save the SDK Unity package again in a file location of your choice. And now we're going to go back and open Unity Hub. And we're going to start a new project in the new 2017 Unity. Give your project a name and make sure you have the correct Unity version selected and then pick a location to save your project and give that a name as well. Once you have that, hit create project. Now, once you have the project open, the first thing you're going to want to import is the new updated VRC SDK that you just got off of vrchat.net. The import of the SDK shouldn't take too long and as soon as that's done, you can now import your old Unity package from the old version of Unity into the new version of Unity. When it asks you to check items for import, just make sure that everything is checked so you're not missing anything and hit import. Depending on the size of the project you're trying to import, this could be the longest part of the process, so if it's taking a while, go make a cup of tea or something while you wait. Once the import is finished, it's time to check to make sure that everything's working. So navigate to one of your scenes for the avatar you've been working on and open it up. As you can see, the scene opens up just fine. Everything looks the way it should and is functioning as normal. Now as far as uploading, nothing has changed from the old Unity to the new Unity, so just go to the VR Chat tab, make sure you're signed in, and then you can open up the control panel and upload your model. Before hitting upload, however, you must make sure that in the pipeline manager of the VRC avatar descriptor, you have to make sure that the pipeline manager is clear. If it has an old blueprint ID, it won't upload correctly on the new Unity. Now a couple things I'll mention myself. Some of the animations I've noticed um, are a little bit broken on your old models since the new update, but they're working just fine. All you have to do is import them to new Unity and upload them, and trust me, that should fix them. The game isn't broken, the model isn't broken, it's just you need to re-upload it on the new Unity in order for it to adapt to this new game state that we're going to be in. 
after naming the model whatever you want and making sure everything looks good, you're going to hit upload to send it into VRChat. Now if you keep watching the background footage, as you can see, Shima demonstrates that the model works fine in game. Hopefully with the help of this video, you can have the same results. And if you enjoyed what you saw and you found this helpful, please give the video a like and also subscribe to Shima for more content. Thanks everybody.